Hey guys, welcome back. So this is like part two. You got up, up, so. And then here, and then here, pull. So. I got a broken transmission mount. So I'm gonna show you guys a quick repair of that. Uh, I'm actually gonna try to have it welded. Not sure if that weld's gonna hold, but uh, we're gonna weld this up. I gotta remove the other half. Let me show you where that's at right now. I got the skid plate taken off, the cross member and skid plate here. Um, I have another video on that. You can't just drop the skid plate. There's a, a process to do it. So I'll put a link in the description below of where to find that video. Or you can just look at my channel and look for it. It'll be one of my latest videos. So anyways, let's uh, look at this transmission mount. Here's one half of it. The other half is right here. So there's a clean break all the way across here. I'm gonna take these four bolts out and drop the other half of this uh, mount down. And you can see right here, there's a mount for the exhaust as well. So but yeah, we're gonna take these four bolts off. So I've actually been driving around with this broken transmission mount for quite some time, actually quite a few years because, I don't know, I saw that it was broken, I just never had the chance really until now to get to it to repairing it. But yeah, you don't want your transmission bouncing around on top of your skid plate down there, so. I'm glad I finally have a chance to take care of this. Well, there we go. There's the two pieces. So, let's weld it up. Alright, so we're back. Here we are a few days later. Well, honestly, a few weeks later. It's been a little while. But uh, my buddy Sean, he welded this up for me and he did an awesome job. This thing is perfectly straight. The weld looks great. He even painted it up for me. So this turned out awesome. So let's get started on the install. Putting this old part back on this nice new uh, mount. Well, gotta do what you gotta do. I got a comment on uh, somebody's Jeep vibrating real bad. They think it's their transmission. So you got this nice rubber mount here for this transmission mount. This helps really dampen a lot of vibrations, but also your exhaust mount. Um, you can get a lot of vibration from the exhaust as well. So those are a couple of things to check. So we've got the skid plate out of the way. Yeah, you're kind of working behind me there, huh? So we've got the skid plate out of the way here. The uh, transmission transfer case up on some jack stands. Uh, I actually have a video of how to like properly remove the skid plate. So go check that out. Uh, you can't just drop it down. You have to support the transmission and everything. So let's take these bolts out. I put them back here so I wouldn't lose them. And I sure wish I had my pneumatic uh, driver with me, but I'm waiting for that to come back from Jason's house. So in the meantime, I'm using hand tools. But it works. All right, we're gonna slip this hanger from the exhaust on there. I'm gonna throw a little Loctite on my fingers here. Actually, a little bit of Loctite on these uh, mounting bolts. And it's just a matter of lining it up and putting it in place. Get 
and lift that other side up by tightening this down a little bit. There we go. In my mechanics pillow. There we go. So much better. All right, now it's just a matter of lifting the skid plate into place and line up the uh, mounting bracket holes there. If you're doing the job by yourself, it really helps to have uh, some clamps to help hold it in place. And be sure to get our spacers back in place here. Some of my tools back. There's spacers on there. Put this guy back together. All right, now that we got all the uh, skid plate bolts snug, we can go ahead and lift the transmission back up, take the jack stands out, and then, uh, then we're gonna lower the transmission down into place and let the uh, last two bolts line up into the skid plate here. So now it's just a matter of getting these last two nuts on here and that wraps it up. Got a, uh, rebuilt transmission mount on here. So, thanks for watching. I really appreciate the support. Leave a comment down below. Say hi, ask a question, whatever. But uh, I read all the comments. I sure appreciate it and I like hearing from you guys. So, hope this helps you out. If so, give it a thumbs up and uh, be sure to subscribe. Have a good day. And we're... Oh. He even painted for me. Painted for me. He even... Oh. <laughs>